Well, greetings, guys. We are talking now about a straight line function. And um, there are a couple of things that I want you to know about a straight line function, but we have to start first um, here. The standard form of a straight line function is given as y equals to mx plus c, where uh, some of the most important things here are important. y represents uh, your variable in uh, the y x in the y axis and then m represents your gradient i should remind you here that when we calculate gradient it is changing x it is no sorry it's changing y it's changing y all over change in x which is the same as saying y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 x is your variable in the x axis whilst as c is uh, your constant but it tells us something very important which is the y intercept okay and i should remind you that the y intercept it is found where x is equals to zero so when we sketch when we sketch a line function there are a couple of things that we need to know number one we need to know the shape Okay, and the shape of the function is actually influenced by the gradient. All right, it is influenced by the value of m. Okay, so we are going to look at uh, the following scenarios. When m is positive, we are going to look at when m is negative, we are going to look at when m is equals to zero and when m is undefined all right so when m is positive when m is negative so meaning here if maybe let's say m is uh, let's say the value of m here is uh, one two uh, let's say the value of this is negative one negative two uh, and i think you get the idea so you're gonna say this is x and this is y. When m is positive, we expect to have an upward, an upward incline. In other words, we expect to get an increasing function. All right. When m is negative, when m is negative, we expect to get a graph like this. Uh, we expect to get a downward incline meaning we expect to get a decreasing function okay now this year it's actually when um this case occurs on actually when the change in y is equals to zero this is what happens so you can just imagine in this case that if you are having y equals to mx plus uh, c and uh, it so happens that m is zero it means that then your y is equals to c so here it means that this is the case where you're going to have y being your constant in other words you are having a flat surface okay so we expect our graph to look like this where this is y is equal to c so here we expect we expect a flat slope but now here it's where you are having where your x is equals to your change in x is equal to zero in this particular case then we expect to have uh, a graph that looks more or less like that where x is equals to c this is where the gradient is undefined all right so you need to know this uh four scenarios the second thing that you need to do when you sketch a line function is that you need to know what is the x intercept and remember guys when we talk about the x intercept you must remember that we let x be equals to zero uh, sorry about that we let y be equals to zero then we solve for x the other one with the y intercept we let x be equals to zero then solve for y I'm just going to take two simple examples. Uh, example one. Let's just say sketch y equals to y equals to 2x plus 4. y equals to 2x plus 4. Uh, let us go into it. 
The first thing that you need to know is the shape. And remember that the shape is influenced by the gradient. And this can be written as y equals to mx plus c. You see now that the value of m actually here, the value of m is actually 2. Okay, so our m is 2, which is actually positive. So if everything is correct, we expect to have a shape that looks uh, something more or less like this. Maybe this being 4. We expect something more or less along those lines. All right. And then now that we have found out what is the shape, we now want to find out what is the x intercept. All right x intercept remember we let y be zero so that means that in this equation in this equation wherever i see wherever i see twin wherever i see y i'm gonna put zero and then here we can now apply the additive inverse so that we now have minus four equals to two x then we can apply the multiplicative inverse where x then is equal to negative 2, which implies that this point is negative 2 and 0. Then we can find the y-intercept by saying let x be equal to 0, so that wherever, again, we are still dealing with that same equation, so that wherever we see x, we put 0, so that is 4, so your equation there is 0 and 4. Now you are ready to sketch. In our sketching, we must make sure that our diagram is well calibrated and the scales are accurate. So don't use free hand. Uh, just make sure that your scales are accurate and everything is in order. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um... Negative, 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 negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, the first point that we had was uh, zero and four. That means when x is zero, when will x be zero? X will be zero on the, um, on the y axis. So when x is zero, y is four. And then let's check here. When x is uh, negative two, y is zero when will y be zero it will be zero on the um it will be zero on the x axis so here we have a uh, negative two here so here is our graph and remember it is very important that you label your points okay and that is what your graph will look like all right getting the idea let's look at example two example two um in example two i'm gonna just say sketch y equals to negative two x plus four more or less the same but i just now put negative remember what is the first thing that you're gonna do guys we are gonna find out what is the shape and how do we find the shape by looking at the gradient which in this case you would agree with me that the gradient is negative two okay um then um since the gradient is negative 2, it means this is less than 0. So we expect this thing to have a downward, a downward incline. Okay. So we're going to have something like that. Maybe this being 4 there. We expect a shape like that. Then the next step is to find the x-intercept. When you find the, the x-intercept, you're going to let y be 0. Then solve for x okay then solve for x i don't have to write that uh so that means wherever wherever i see wherever i see y wherever i see y in this equation wherever i see y in this equation i'm gonna put zero so that's uh, equals to minus 2x plus 4 then i can apply the additive inverse that's minus 4 minus 2x and then uh, we can divide both sides by minus 2, if you don't mind. Therefore, x here is equal to 2, meaning the point that we're dealing with here is 2 and 0. Then we can go ahead and find what is the y-intercept. y-intercept, we let, we let x be 0. Uh, so if you let x be 0, wherever I see x, wherever I see x, I will put 0. That's y equals 2 minus 2 
wherever i see x i put 0 plus 4 so that is y equals to 4 so the point here is 0 and 4 lo and behold we are ready to sketch again make sure that your diagram is well uh, calibrated using your ruler and everything there okay so here this point here this is uh let me just sketch one two three four five one, <laughs> one two three four five minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus one minus two minus three uh that is four and zero and that is uh two and zero so we expect a shape like that okay so the graph here will be uh zero and four and the graph here will be two and zero all right so summary what's important that you, you must know when you sketch number one you need to know what is the shape of the graph by looking at the gradient number two you need to know what is uh, your x-intercept and remember the x-intercept is where it cuts the x-axis by letting your y be zero and lastly you need to uh, find out what is your y-intercept by letting x be zero. Number four, you need to label your points. Number five, make sure your graph is drawn up to scale. And that's it from me, Mulifi. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.